Hi there and welcome, I'm The Technician Project and in today's tutorial is going to be some more shortcuts in Final Cut Pro X. We're going to start off our tutorial today in Final Cut Pro X and we have a handful of shortcuts to go through today. Some you may not know and some you may already know. These are all action based shortcuts to do with Final Cut. So the first one we're going to use today is Command H. Now Command H hides your application. Sounds a bit daft really, but you can hide your application so you can carry on working on things behind or look for your files etc. When it says it hides it, if you go down to your dock, you should be able to reboot the program. It hasn't deleted it, it has just hid it out the way. It hasn't even minimised it, it's just hid it in the background. And the next shortcut we're going to use is Option, Command and K. Now this opens the Command Editor window. Now this allows you to see all the shortcuts allocated to which letter. Uh, you can edit which shortcut you want. You can edit the letter, you can edit the number, you can make your own shortcuts. The next shortcut was Command M. Now this minimises Final Cut doesn't hide it, it just minimises it down into the dock. The next one is Command O. This opens either the existing library or opens a new library. As you can see here, you can click New or Locate. I'm just going to change to the Blade tool here. And I'm going to show you a couple of different options. Now to change the blade tool it's just B. Now I've made a few random slices here. If I press Command Z it will undo any mistakes or cuts I have made. And if you can press Shift Command Z it will redo the cuts so you can go back. And the final shortcut today is Command Q. Command Q will quit Final Cut Pro X. If you enjoyed the video today, please leave a like rating and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching and see you next time.